What is going on guys? It's Ben here. So I did just get back from my first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! Nationals uh, and it was really, really awesome. It was held in Fort Worth, Texas and I picked up a lot of cool stuff at the event. I also uh, sold a lot of stuff at the event and these were actually delivered to my house while I was at the event. Uh, I did a pre-order like a very long time ago of these Battles of Legends box, the Relentless Rel 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 Revenge. And I was so scared like they're gonna be stolen because I think someone just, I think the mail carrier just dropped them off at our front porch. But thank goodness, uh, cause I ordered three of them and they all arrived here. Uh, so they didn't get lost, but yeah, you can see this awesome mat. I'll kind of describe how my day went throughout uh, the opening. I picked up a bunch of cool stuff, a bunch of hero stuff. You can see this mat here. I actually won two of these. Uh, I sold one of way cause this mat's really, really expensive. It's like over 150 bucks. Uh, and you win these from winning the Yu-Gi-Oh day side events. And this was a prize option there. So the main event, I didn't do so hot. Uh, if you guys would like to see my deck profile for my first ever nationals, it won two side events. I think I entered a total of five side events. Uh, I, picked, I traded for one of these tokens, but I played in three of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Day 1s. Uh, you can see my tokens right here. I also picked up a Rainbow Dragon, which is the Chaos, uh, the Chaos Neos guy, and it's like one of the most hard hero cards to get, and it is incredibly, uh, incredibly rare. So this is like a misprint, because see how it says Rainbow Dragon? but it's actually the Chaos Neos in there. So see how that is, it's first edition in like mint condition. So that's definitely going into the hero collection. Um, yeah, the four Jaden tokens. I've always wanted these one for a very long time. So it's so cool for the Yu-Gi-Oh day that you just entered and you got one of these and then I traded for one. Uh, and then I played a Battle City tournament. You had to take top, I think top four to get a choice of a token. And then if the winner obviously gets the mat and a token, but the random token I got because I won my match, but I lost, uh, I think I actually lost in the second round, but I still made it for top four and got this token, the Ojama one, which is really, really cool. And then the the token generator that they have, this I already showed you guys. Uh, the token generator that they had, um, you can see me and Carla there with the friends I went with there. That's John, he's been in the video, that's Eric. And then my mom and my stepdad also came along with us too. So very fun event. Uh, like I said, won two of these mats, which are over 150 bucks from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Day and the side events. But the main event wasn't, I didn't do so hot, but it's all good, man. Like, I, I really, really, really wanted this mat, so it was actually really fun just playing the side events, uh, selling and trading, like, buying and selling and trading with people. It was crazy, so. Also, the event dice, I have those as well. I tried to pick up the set, but I only think I have four of them. I'll show those in the deck profile video. How does that sound? Um... Other than that, though, overall was really, really fun. If you guys ended up going to Yugo Nationals, how do, how was it? Also, I saw a lot of, like, Fort Worth, Texas, too. Um, if you're a Dallas Cowboy fan, tour the stadium, went to a Texas Rangers game. It was crazy. So, yeah, that was that. But, yeah, I think I'll show my deck profile over the next few days. And, like I said, it won me the side events, which is awesome. And I love this mat, man. Here, I'll, I'll kind of show it off a little better. So, the element of hero mat is literally my favorite because as you guys know heroes are my thing everything here so we got Jaden in the middle then over off to the side a bubble man and this was a Yu-Gi-Oh day I forget what year this was for Yu-Gi-Oh day but uh, so crazy man the element of hero stuff like is is in literally insane like some of the cards you can or not cards but like the ultimate rares and stuff are so collectible nowadays it's like that's why I love collecting them. they're my favorite set because so many people feel the same way like the elements of hero cards are just they're like everyone wants them, I feel like. So without further ado though, I'm really, really happy uh, that I went and I got this, had a great time and uh, let's continue on. So this set is really awesome too. There's <laughs> a lot of great cards. Uh, Living Fossil, I don't know if this is, I don't think this is one of the great ones, but actually by this card by targeting one level four or lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon it and equip it with this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Even if this card has left the field, um, when this card leaves the field, banish the equip monster. The equip monster loses 1,000 attack. Okay, that's a lot going on. Slash draw here. World Legacy Discovery. Raffion the Time Lord. So we're getting some more Time Lords up in here. Cannot be destroyed by Battle Carfax. You take no damage from Tax and Ball. These cards, they all have like that beginning clause with that stuff. Uh, at the end of the battle phase, if this card battled, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of one monster your opponent controls that battled this card. So that one's not that great. There's one that shuffles them all in. I think that's Zafion, and then Medion is also really good too. And then we have Kayo 2 Waterfront. So I don't think we got two great pulls here, but you can see like a little crease right here. All the mats were folded up in a box that they were giving out for if you had a choice of the last Yugo Day, which was the Mech Knight Mac or this one if you were the winner of the tournament. Um, so every time I just chose the Jaden one, uh, but yeah, they all have this little crease. It's it's able to get taken out. I just haven't had time to do it. You have to like iron, put like a towel over the mat and iron, uh, iron on the, the crease part. So 
Uh, we got glass zipper, slippers here. We got like the Cinderella, where actually her name's not Cinderella anymore, but uh, the princess girl, princesses, I think. I don't know, but activate. If this card is equipped to a fairy monster, it gains 1,000 attack. If this card is equipped to a non-fairy mo non fairy monster, it cannot attack. Also, it loses 1,000 attack. If this card is sent to the graveyard because the equipped monster is destroyed, you can target one princessin you control. Equip this card to that target. You can only use the effect of glass slippers once per turn. Oh, we got perform performage trick clown. Oh my god, man. This is so cool. Finally got a rarity bump. If this card is sent to your graveyard, you can target one for poor mage monster in your graveyard special summon, but its attack and defense becomes zero. Then you take 1,000 damage. This card enabled so many XCs, like rank four plays. You got Solemn Judgment in here. That's awesome. That's a good reprint. And this guy, man, Neospatian Air Hummingbird. No, it was the Aqua Dolphin. Sorry. Aqua Dolphin was the other one. Uh, people were attacking in Neospatian Aqua Dolphin in their Goki mat, like in their Gokis. And it was really annoying. And I actually do have an ulti first Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. And it like shot up in so much price. Like I think it was around like twenty to thirty dollars before the event, and now it like shot up a bunch for the good condition ones because like people are teching this into their Goki matches. Because what you do, what they do is they discard a card. They get to look at your hand, and they get to discard a monster that's like. Basically, they get to discard a monster from your hand that has lower attack than the highest monster on their field. Uh, so say they just summer Aqua Dolphin, I think it has like 600 or 800 attack. They discard a card, they check your hand to see if they have, like basically they're checking to see if you have like hand traps, like Droll or anything like that. Because uh, I played the guy that was checking that in and he ripped Goki, or he he ripped Droll and Lockbird out of my hand twice in a row. And it was the only trap hand trap I had and he actually ended up winning those. It was it was crazy, man. I did not like that. But yeah, so near you, Aqua Dolphin is the good one there. And the, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Um... So yeah, people are tacking that into the Goki match, and I was not expecting that, and it was crazy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I wasn't fully prepared too, because like I didn't even know before the event. Like a lot of Trickstar players, Trickstar Sky Sharker, that's the deck I was playing, were teching in like the Mech Knights, and I didn't even know that was a thing. Like I did, I should have prepared like the week before a little bit better. Um, but it's all cool. I got the mat that I actually, once I saw this, like before the even main event, I was like, yo, I want that mat. I, I, that's my goal to get it before I leave. Uh, activate this card by sending one face up infinite machine from money. This face up card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Neither player can target time Lord monsters you control with card effects or return time Lord monsters from the field to the deck. So that keeps them out. Okay. Once per turn, if you control no monsters, you can special summon up to one time with a monster from each of your hand, deck, and or graveyard with different names, ignoring their summon. Okay. Well, this basically just enables, enables everything. Activate this card by sending one face up infinite machine. But you need to send up infinite machine, okay. From your spell and trap zone to the graveyard. This face of card cannot be showed by your opponent's card effects. Okay, well, I don't know how easy it is to send the infinite machine. We got pre preparations, right? So that's a pretty good card. Pretty good ultra rare and then we have iron knight all right all right so secret rares i think the best one is that golden castle of stromberg and it's really really hard to pull uh there's also like some rank fours in here i think boral guard dragons in here and then we got number 67 paradise smasher <laughs> that's a pretty cool axe imagine if they made that like a fortnite or something Two plus level five monsters. Once per turn during your main phase, you can detach two XYZ materials from this card. Each player rolls a six sided die twice. The player with the higher total can activate monster effects or declare an attack until the end of the turn. Cannot activate monster effects or declare attack until the end of the turn. Once per turn, if either player rolls a six sided die or dice while this card has material, you can treat one of the results as seven. Okay. Uh, we have Halon, the Time Lord. If your life points is lower than your opponent's, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the difference. Okay. So this equalizes the playing field. I'm not reading the beginning effect where they can't like be targeted by card effects, can't be destroyed by battle. If you attack, you take no like you take no damage. Um, we got summon dice, bottomless trap pull, and the kaiju flies. This one's like you place kaiju whenever a kaiju is special summoned onto it, you place kaiju counters on it, and you can remove three or more kaiju counters on the field. Add one kaiju spell or trap from your deck to your hand. And then you can remove, I think, you can destroy one kaiju monster on the field, destroy that. You can destroy that monster, then special summon one kaiju monster with a different original name from your deck to its controller's field. So, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how great that actually is. 
Because, like, you, yes, it's kind of cool that you get to destroy maybe the kaiju that you gave to your opponent, but you have to special summon a different one anyways back to their field. It, it would be cool if you could special summon to your field. Actually, no, that would be broken. Uh, Glyph, the Phantom Bird. Many on the Time Lord. B -b -b Number 41, Baguska is in here. Shura, the Combat Star. And Gaia Saber, the Lightning Shadow. I wish they would have maybe gave us to a better slot because this guy's actually, for Link 3, is not that great right now um it just it just does take two plus monsters but i mean i just think there's better options finally good that medion got the got the reprint too and uh, bagusa come on we, we have many much more like bagusa is not even an expensive card like i wish they would have put like something better for a rank four synchro in there or rank four xc in there then we have flying elephant this one is a dual winner here a match winner oh my gosh once per turn, if this card would be destroyed by their card effect, it is not destroyed. Once per turn, during the, or their end phase, if that effect was applied this turn, apply the following effect. During your next turn, if this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, you win the duel. So Flying Elephant, one of the good ones to pull. Um, I will say... There is no card right now, I don't think, that has it, so you can, like, equip maybe to this guy to, like, have a card, card effect that, like, like, I don't know if there is an equip card. I know, like, it would have to be, like, a equip card that equips to this guy, then it would, like, has an effect where it can target a monster on, or, or target a card or a monster on the field, destroy it, and then you just target him, but I don't know if that would be considered the equip card's monster effect or this guy's, so, I don't know. You guys can let me know, but hey, he's a he's a dual winner and he's really really cool. He was actually a giant card at the event, which is pretty awesome. And then we have Unending Nightmare, a very good ultra rare. We have Cyber Elidian, Kaiku, Kaiki, the Unity Star. <laughs> and then we have Convert Contract. We got uh we got Neo Spatian, um, Flare Scarab in there and some other stuff. Common Soul. Neospatian, uh, I think it's a, that are, um, their field spell one. If you control all monsters, send two Neospatian monsters, one from your hand and one from your deck to the graveyard, then draw two cards. You have to control no monsters, but that's actually pretty good for heroes. Or Actually, no. Let me say no. I'm going to say it. The reason why I say no, because you have to send two Neospatian monsters, and like, you don't want to, like, Neospatians aren't that good. If it was just gen generic heroes, now that would be awesome. <laughs> So, sorry, I take that back. Sorry, in my mind, I always associate Neospatians with heroes. Like, when I when I talk about hero cards, I also throw them in there, even though I know that's not, like, the correct way. Uh, Metaphol's Mithrilium, Mithrilium, even though it's not, I don't think this really needed reprint. It wasn't super expensive. Uh, Inbook, the World Challenge Dragon. This was a rare when it first came out, and this is going to, everyone's going to love this one. Uni Zombie Ultra Rare. Okay, this is one of the best zombie cards and really, really solid. Uh, Ultra Guys Hextia. I think that got a rarity bump with people running the Ultra Guys stuff. Born from the Draconis. That's cool. It's a star constellation in there. So, Imbuk, I don't think many people are still playing World Chalice, but that got a rarity bump. So, I'm okay with that. I mean, I understand it because you know, those. That was one of the first Link monsters that actually came out, too. So, that's kind of cool. Living Fossil again. Four Phoenix, the Elemental Lord, Altergeist Manifestation, World Legacy Heart, and Pumpkin Carriage. Some more, some more of them uh, princess cards. This is my first time. Like, not many people. I, I didn't trade with many people that opened this box because the vendors were selling them for so much. But I only saw the Gunginger, the Topologic Gunginger, the one that like if it's extra linked, you get it discards two cards from you. That happened to me once. <laughs> Stupid Goki man. Princessin. If this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one pumpkin carriage from your hand or deck. Then if Golden Castle of Stromberg is in the field zone, you can equip one glass slippers from your deck to this card. You can only use this effect of Princessin once per turn. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, you can target one glass slippers, equip this card, and one face of monster on the field, equip that glass scissors to the target. Okay. So we got her. Banishment of the Dark Lords. Add one Dark Lord card from your deck to your hand, except Banishment of the Dark Lords. You can only use the effect of one Banishment of Dark Lords per turn. Eater of Millions getting the rarity bump. There we go. We got Dark Lord Contract and Cyber Dragon. That's a good ultra to pull as well. 
Special summon one Dark Lord monster from your graveyard in defense position. You can only activate one Dark Lord contract per turn. Cyber Dragon always. I'm 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 welcome to Cyber Dragons getting nice rarity reprints because one of very good card Merlin. Uh, just a Noble Knight guy. It's a long effect. I don't really feel like reading him right now. Noble Knight Murdrot. I think this was their main guy for a very long time. Solemn Strike is in here. Trickstar Narc. Oh, why why would they reprint? This is good for um, when Needle Fighter Needle Fiber comes out. TJ Wonder Magician or TG. To say TJ an accident. Uh, Trickstar Narcissus. If your opponent takes effect damage, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only use effective of Trickstar Narcissus once per turn. Each time your opponent activates a monster effect in their hand or graveyard, inflict 200 damage to them immediately. Why not maybe make this a. I don't know. The, there's no ultra rare Lily Bell. There's a super rare of Lily Bell. Uh, there's no ultra rare of Lycoris. Why not make it a ultra rare Lycoris? Like, make, make it an ultra rare of like one of the good ones. We already have ultra rare Candina, so we don't need that. But why not do like a Lily Bell that people are actually going to need or play? Or even just maybe one like, or Lycoris or Lily Bell, because people actually play those. Make it more of the so they can finish the ultra rares with the trick stars. You guys, you know, you know what I'm getting at. You know what I'm getting at. I think that makes sense. Like, because then you could have ultra Candina, maybe ultra Lycoris. You'd still probably have a super rare Lily Bell, but then the ultra like light stage, man. So dumb. We got brilliant infusion, secret rare. That's a really awesome, uh, really awesome reprint there. Foolish Bale of Goods, another reprint that kind of is. We just got this reprinted. So, <laughs> uh, Rainbow Dark Dragon, Cyframe Driver, nice. That's. This is way overdue for the for gammas. Um, Dark Lord Nastian. So that was a really good pack. Sorry for the side tangent on why not the useful Trickstar monsters, the ones that are played, get <laughs> get uh, reprinted. We got Tornado Dragon. That's really cool too. Two level four monsters. Once a return, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, then target one spell trap on the field, destroy it. Litimus Doom Ritual, Iron Hands, Litimus Doom Swordman, Noble Knight of the Brothers. It's another Noble Knight guy. So, so far, some pretty solid secret rares. We didn't get any of the great ones just yet. I mean, we got nice, nice reprints of a lot of cards, but Dark Lord, uh, I'm gonna probably push this Ixel, Ixel. A lot of people like this card. Uh, mainly because of the, the nice artwork. Banishment of the Dark Lords, Iron Hands again, Dark Lord Contract, and Duel Alliance is in here as an Ultra Rare. Okay. Like, right, well, that's another one, like, Duel Alliance is already super, super cheap. Did we really need to, to get it up there? No, I totally understand if they're reprinting high, like, high value cards like Tornado Dragon, Brilliant Fusion, those are all solid. But like Duelist Alliance, man, before the secret rare was only like a couple bucks. <laughs> uh, so number 90, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. It takes two level eight monsters. If this card has a photon card as material, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can only use each of the following effects of number 90, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord once per turn. When an opponent's monitor activates its effect, you can detach one X's view from this card, negate that monster's effect, and if the attached material was a galaxy card, destroy that card. And that's a quick effect, so you can be used on either player's turn. That's pretty good. So, uh, Galaxy Eyes can now, or Fortons can now get a negate on board. Uh, during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can take one Photon card or Galaxy card from your deck and either add it to your hand or attach it to this card's material. So it just keeps getting a material on it, dude. That's pretty good. That's going to be a hard guy. Well, obviously, Kaijus could get over, but that's going to be a hard guy to get over, man. That's really good for Photons, dude. Foolish Real Goods again. The Conqueror's Star, Litmus Sword, and another Cypherm Driver. We'll take the drivers. Gammas are solid, dude. And we have Glorious Numbers. Naruto, the Moral Leader. Good reprint. Well, actually, nah, it's not the greatest. Another TG Wonder Magician. Oh, this was a good one. More people are probably going to need it for Christian Needle Fiber, so why not? Another bottomless. Um. The reason why I said Naruto was kind of good was because for Pendulum Magicians, they would use a little bunch, and the only two rarities was a, I think a Secret Rare and a Gold Rare, and the Gold Rare Ultra Rare looks, I don't like, 
Or not? I I I just don't like the gold series stuff rare. I really don't. A uh, Phantom Knight of the Silent Boots. Eater of Millions again. I don't know if this card's good or not. I'm not sure. You Uni Zombie again or Uni Zombie? Nice. The Neo Space and Dark Panther. Recently picked up the Ultimate Rare version of that. Really really sweet. Um. Let's continue this on. With the hero cards, I just... Or the Neospatians, I should say. Ah, nice. We got the Scream King, Dragon, Dark Worm. Now, this is a rarity bump I'm okay with. Commons going to, like, Ultra Rare. Commons going to Secret. This card is amazing. If you don't know what it does, basically, if it's... You Foolish Barrel this or Dragon Shrine this to the graveyard. If you control no monsters, he special summons out. Searches a Supreme, Supreme King Gate Zero card. And usually, you, you, you take that level 7 one. And then you can have, like, a... A level, I think it's a level zero scale, and then it's just, it's crazy, man. It's a good card. Um, glad we pulled him. Unending Nightmare, very good. Torrential Tribute, always good as well. Noble Knight Brothers, and Pumpkin Carriage. So instead of like reprints that are useless, another another one of those. Then we got New Space and Grab Mole. I finally have my playset of Ultimates of these now. I'm so happy. Um, Noble Knight Madrat, Trickstar Narcissus, and the Kaiju Flies. Okay. We have Trickstar Reincarnation. There we go. Now that's a good Seeker Rare. Nerita the Moral Leader, Slash Draw, Perform Patch Damage Juggler, and Medi Michion the Time Lord. If you guys don't know what Trickstar Reincarnation does, banish your entire hand. Draw the same number of cards. Um, or banish your opponent's entire hand. Then they draw the same number of cards. There we go. This is the guy I was talking about. Now this guy's nasty. Topologic Gumblar Dragon. Uh, we'll open up the, the rest, see if we get anything crazy. Um, uh, not really. So. I forgot to sleeve some of the stuff. I'm sorry, but we only sleeve one guy. But that's okay. Uh, Topologic Gumblar Dragon. And if, if another monster is special summoned to a zone, a link monster points to... While this card is on the field, discard one or two random cards. Then your opponent discards the same number. I got that used on me once, but that's not the damaging effect. This is the one that's crazy. Uh, you can make your opponent disc or if this card is extra linked and your opponent has at least one card in their hand, you can make your opponent discard one or two cards, whichever is higher. Then if they have no more cards in their hand, inflict 3,000 damage to them. You can only use one. Topologic Gumbar Dragon effect per turn and only once that turn. So yeah, if you guys don't know what extra linking is, basically it's where they take their extra monster zone, use the nightmares and all other links, and go across to the other extra link monster zone and lock you out so you can't link stuff. <laughs> oh god, man, it's crazy. This guy is really, really good. Um, or I feel like it's hard to extra link, get him out as the extra link, but. If it happens, he's really, really, really solid then. Uh, I don't know, dude. He's crazy. But okay. Let's continue this on. We have Hibernation Dragon. Another Perform Pet. Another Solemn Strike. Okay. And Trick Clown. Iron Knight and Converting Contract. So we have a couple packs left. Sorry if I'm going slower on this one. Like I said, this is my first time opening the box. And I wanted to read some of these effects. Get the lowdown, see what's happening. Operation Dragon. This is a I don't know. Uh, Alter Guys Manifestation. Cyber Dragon. Nice. Good Ultra Rare at the end there. Glass Slippers. Preparation of Rights. Summon Dice. Last pack. Let's see what we get here. Hex a Trude. If Golden Castle Stromberg is in the is in a field zone, you can normal summon this card without tributing. Once per turn, if Golden Castle of Stromberg is in a field zone, you can target one card on the field except this one. Destroy it. And if you do, this card can make up to two attacks on monsters during the battle phase this turn. When this card destroys a monster by a battle, you can target one face of monster you control, it gains 400 attack. Nice. We got Solemn Judgment in there. Cephleon, the ultimate time lord. Windorse, the Elemental Lord, and Born from Draconix. Yeah, so I'll recap here. Got a bunch of nice secret rare pulls. Dark Lord Ixel, 
Hexatrude. I thought it was Heytrunade at first. Uh, Top Logic, Gumblar Dragon, Trickstar Reincarnation, Supreme King. We got two of those, I think. Ta Tornado Dragon, Brilliant Fusion, Merlin, Supreme King, Jerry, and Dark Orc. The Dar I don't know if this guy's good or not. The, the, the Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. Number 90, Galaxy Eyes Fortune. That's a that's a really good boss monster. I can see this guy. And Flying Elephant. Well, actually, no. Like, Photon Dragons or Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragons, whatever. They have, like, a bunch of boss monsters, dude. But if they can get him out... He's a tough, tough card to deal with, man. Uh, Ultra Rares, we had a lot of Solemn Strikes. Uh, a whole lot of good stuff, man. There's, there's. Okay, I wouldn't say this is as good as last year's. Um, what's it called? Last year's Battles of Legend, but it's still solid. It still has a lot of value in it. Uh, just don't overpay for it. Like the vendors at the event were charging like ninety-five dollars for the box, and they're. I don't think it's worth ninety-five bucks for this box. Um. When I bought them, I bought there was like an eBay code going on for like 15% off. They do those randomly, you guys know, for like 14 to like July 4th sometimes. There was one going on for Father's Day. I don't remember exactly which one I used. It was like a 20% off and I bought three of these. So I got a good deal. I think you got to look out, be on the lookout. Maybe pre-order boxes with that. But other than that though, guys, we're going to wrap up the video here. Sorry for the rambles. I just really wanted to read a lot of cards on the set and then talk about the event. I'll talk about it more. Um, let me know if you'd like to see my deck profile. If you want to buy any of this stuff on eBay. Link will be in the description below, uh, as always. But if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later.